New York Yankees fans, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas. Hashtag hola como estas. New York Yankees fans. The New York Yankees, the only way, we all know the Red Sox are playing phenomenal, right? But I still believe that the Red Sox are going to implode. There's many ways in bringing this about. First of all, the Yankees, they need to make a few moves before the August 31st uh, waiver wire deadline. What I'm trying to say here is that the Yankees need to make just at least one big splash to, let's say, have all the sports writers, have everybody talking about that the Yankees are the team to beat. This would add extra pressure on the Boston Red Sox. They'll look at the Yankees and say, hey, we have to uh, play all out. We have to keep up this pace. The Yankees can catch up to us if we just lose one game here and two games there. They can easily catch up to us. Just the thought of, let's say, adding a Max Scherzer. I know a lot of, I know that word, I know that name triggers a lot of people. Oh, it's impossible. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, Max Scherzer makes a whole bunch of money. Uh, listen, he's making $15 million. Okay. It just seems like a lot because his contract started off making $15 million. But when you add it up, it really is a decent enough contract for an ace caliber pitcher. I know it's out of this world, but when you think about it, if the Nationals pay about 35% of his remaining contract, it is a deal. Hey, it's better than the Mets paying Bobby Bonilla. And really, that player did not bring in a championship for the Mets. Max Scherzer will for the Yankees for the maybe the next three years. Also, I keep saying it. The wild card standings, the Yankees are only four games and a half over the Athletics. We all know the A's are one of those teams that catches fire out of nowhere. And those teams can be dangerous. Teams like the A's, teams like the athletics if the yankees go on another losing streak let's say they lose five games in a row again the a's could easily surpass them for that first spot and the seattle mariners would be right behind the yankees so this is what i mean that when i say the yankees need to make a big splash oh add pressure to the red sox it would even guarantee that the yankees are going to hold on for that first wild card spot it's pretty it's pretty close folks. Any little game here and there, it's ground gained by the A's and the Mariners. I'm not saying that these two teams are going to win every game, but when they're so close to you, four games out, four or four and a half games out, I mean, really if you're the Yankees and the Red Sox are just playing like the 1998 Yankees, there's no room for error. And really, they really need to upgrade their bench as well. So the Yankees really need to make some moves still to upgrade this team. I've said it all along. The Yankees are just two players away from winning it all, in my opinion. So we all saw that the Nationals choked yet again, okay? They're highly delusional when it comes to winning that division. They've had a subpar season. And look how they blew that game just now with a walk-off grand slam. I mean, it's devastating for their team, the way that they have been playing. So you got to ask the question, in about a week or two weeks, are the Nationals going to officially pull the plug on their season? If so, this is the best news, I keep reciting it, for teams in contention. Obviously, it's going to be a yard sale. I could see a player like Harper going to the Dodgers or Cubs, but I could see a pitcher like Max Scherzer, a big contract that hmm, teams skip out on due to his contract. I could see the Yankees picking up a player like him. Obviously, the luxury tax resets to uh, 20% next year. And really, if you think about it, for the next three years, including this season, the Yankees have a great shot at winning it all, period. Max Scherzer is a certified ace. I'm not talking about an ace, an experiment where you're developing a picture. This guy is an established ace, a veteran. The Yankees have been missing that for quite some time now. Remember all the good Yankees teams. They had veteran pitchers on their staff. 
Also, it would really certify a win in a one-game playoff if you give the ball to Max Scherzer. Then after, you give the ball to Severino to start the ALDS. What better way to start a series by having Severino start it? So what I'm trying to say here is the Yankees need to think long term. Obviously, the Red Sox are running away with it. You need, really, you need to think about that one game playoff. Do you trust Severino? I love Severino. But I would prefer Max Scherzer, a pitcher like him, taking the ball. Establish ace for that one game playoff. That's just my opinion. I'm, I'm not bashing Severino. I think he's great. I think Severino is an ace. I think Severino is top 10 in all the baseball. But I would really want a veteran ace taking the ball for a one game playoff. Let me ask you guys this question realistically. Just think about this. What sounds better? Severino versus the A's for a one game playoff or the Seattle Mariners for a one game playoff or Max Scherzer versus the A's or Seattle Mariners for that one game playoff. Okay. I know a lot of people are going to pick Max Scherzer. Just for the fact that Severino is still young. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that I'm bashing Severino, but I would prefer somebody like Max Scherzer, who, like I keep repeating, is intimidating. That name, his face, everything about him, his demeanor. He is intimidating. This is why I think the Yankees need to make a big splash, put the pressure on the Red Sox, and see if they collapse. Because it's a backup plan for two things. Adding pressure to the Red Sox. Everybody's going to write about how the Yankees are the best team in baseball. It would obviously add pressure to the Red Sox, and you might see them implode. Even without a big splash, the division is still in reach. But I'm just saying that if you make a big splash, have media going insane, this would add more pressure to the Red Sox and even other teams. So a move like that would even increase your chances of winning that one game playoff as well. So it works both ways. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you like the idea of Max Scherzer? Obviously. People keep bringing up his contract. Um, really? His contract seems big because he's making money after supposedly leaving the Nationals or retiring. But if you can guarantee a World Series championship, I mean, really, it's a no-brainer. And he's top three in all of baseball. I mean, if you could get the Nationals to pay about 25, 30 to 35 percent, I mean, that's a steal in my opinion. The Yankees missed out on Cole. They missed out on Verlander. They missed out on Archer even. I mean, the solution for a World Series championship, I mean, it's staring the Yankees right in the face. It's been staring the Yankees in the face for the last three years. Just get that other ace that you need, another bat at this point as well, and that 28th World Series championship is yours, period. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NewsCom. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.